Hallelujah. Glory. my Bible. I am what it says I am. This book calls me an overcomer and that's who I am. Today I shall be taught the infallible, unchanging word of God. So my mind is alert. My heart is receptive as I, as I gladly receive the word today. I believe that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Father, we thank you. We thank you and bless you for your presence. Thank you for covering us and saturating us. Filling the air with your presence. Hallelujah. And we love you today. We rebuke everything on assignment to stop the word today. And we declare that we have open ears to hear what you're saying to us. And that it won't only be a good word, but a transformative word to our life. And so we thank you for the word we're about to receive. We thank you for what's freely given of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, take us to where we need to be. Guide us, lead us, run alongside of us. For these things and others, we give you praise and thanks and believe we receive it when we pray. Amen. Talking to you today from the subject, the charge to ministry. The charge to ministry. Now, I'm basically only going to deal with one, one verse, one, 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 one scripture area. And I'm going to go to just a few others. The first one is the, is the main one, but uh, uh, just a few others, but we're going to unpack it. Amen? Amen. And it's an area that we need to, to focus in on because as we, we've been on this journey since Easter, uh, uh, we're headed toward the 40-day marker, which is, when I say 40-day marker, it's the time just before Pentecost, and that 40th day was real important in, in Jesus making appearances after the resurrection. And, and for 40 days, he appeared to 11, 2, 500 people on boats, on shore, the disciples all over the place just, uh, he appeared to them, because his ministry was not finished.
can continue using you. Are, are you there? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why forgiveness and mercy is such a, a hallmark piece for the Lord. Now, if we could get people to understand that, we would be in a better place. And so, so, so with that, with him getting Peter out of his, his, his blue funk over denying him over his fall, he's, he established him and the church on a foundational truth that Peter said. Amen. Amen. The guy with the worst temper, the quick tongue, he was usable. Tap somebody and say, I think you usable. I think you usable. Amen. The purpose for, the, for those post-resurrection appearances was to validate the following. To validate. First of all, he had his body with him. That's important. Because it's easy to say some other stuff. But Jesus had that body with him. Because Thomas needed to check it out and others too. He had his body with him. He was not a ghost or a spirit. What he said he would do, he would do. And again, his mission was not finished. Even though on the cross, one of the seven last utterances was, it is finished. That means he was finished with the work of redemption. It, that's why he said it. it. It is finished. That particular piece of the work is finished. All right. He didn't say, I'm finished. I'm done. I'm out of here. He said, it's finished. It, it is finished. Amen. Jesus is the author, and because this is written about him later, it, it was attesting to something that he operated in. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He had to finish the job. And that's why you must be a finisher. Finish. Finish something. Amen? Amen. This brings us to our lesson today. And it's, 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 it, we're focusing on another appearance. And this is where Jesus has told the disciples to meet him in Galilee on, on, on a mountaintop. And I found out that this mountaintop was a very familiar meeting site for them. So when he told them to go to the mountain, they knew which mountain. And so they met him on the mountaintop, but, but the, he carried him to the pinnacle of the mountaintop because he was giving them the ultimate assignment. It's called the Great Commission, but it was the ultimate assignment. It would be one of the foundation stones of the church uh, uh, where it talks about the foundation of apostles and prophets. This is the foundation stone, the Great Commission. It is, our, it is the working order and the marching order. The Great Commission is listed in two places. Matthew 28, 18 through 20. And Mark 16, 15 through 18. It's mentioned in two places. But we're going to focus in on Matthew's version. Simply because, and, and to give deference to Matthew as a disciple. As a disciple. Uh, so Matthew 28, 18 through 20. And here we find this is an instruction. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying. Some authority has been given to me. In heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. 
And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And then there is an amen saying and signaling not only the end, but all of this that I just said is true. Amen says that's true. When you say amen, I acknowledge the truth. Amen. Let's deal with all authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. This commission that follows is given in light of the authority of Jesus. This indicates that this is an authoritative command, not a suggestion. Jesus didn't suggest that you go and make disciples. That's why we do it. If we don't do it, we, do, we don't do it as if it was a suggestion. Not a command. That's why some of us get in problem. We have problem with our bosses because we think they're making a suggestion to do certain work. And it's not a suggestion. Come on. They try to ask nice, but it's a command. I mean, no, I'm right about that. How, anybody in here ever been in service? How many of you been in service? We got some people. I told you to do something. What a suggestion? I'm not going to wake you up at 4 in the morning to start running. And you can't lay there and say, I'm not ready. Oh, boy. I wish I had some current service kids here because they'll tell you some stories about the army. I had a niece. She went and she wrote all kind of letters home. I'm so tired of this. They make us get up and blah, 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 blah. But, but you signed on the arm. I want to be in the army. Which means I'm accepting the abuse. <laughs> to get into shape. Amen. Some of us, if we go to a gym, we need the authority of a trainer over us. Or else the gym won't do as much good. You need somebody to make you hurt. Because you won't hurt yourself. Ooh. Am I telling the truth? Isn't that the truth? It's just, I'm going to tell you what teacher you remember better than any others. The, 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 the meanest one. Lou has several of them he remembers. Because we talked to him. And he couldn't stand her. Brittany had one. To, where she is? She, she gone downstairs. She had a couple too. She didn't stand. And she, we, we went to parent-teacher meeting because cause we thought we, you know, we didn't go to jump on the teacher. Come on, I'm going to be clear. Because some of y'all go, you know, mess with my child. You know, got armed and ready. It take a good teacher. They just stand back and just say, huh, I'm ready for you. Get here. And they just start laying the case down before you. This, this is the whole record. Everywhere you see a A, that means that the assignment didn't come. And then she'll say, you know, good teachers, they'll mess with you too. Let's count them together. Because <laughs> I see you got a slight problem. Let's, let's all count them together. Are y'all out there? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because they got to prove it to you too. Thomasine and Thomas. Y'all got to. <laughs> you, you ready for a fight. And when, you, when, you, when all else is said. Because <laughs> you've got the story at home after the story. Am I in the right house? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
all authority is given to me. That means because he has this authority, he can send whomever he wills. That's why I have a problem with the people that decide that God can't send women to preach. When the first things from the grave was women. The resurrection scene. And they preached the gospel that he is risen and they believed it. And they went to a locked room of unbelieving men. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It always confused me. They can teach Sunday school. They can teach all the other classes, but they can't stand behind the pool. In some places, they won't even let them stand behind this. So every time y'all get up, y'all ought to feel blessed because I let y'all. I, I, I could This is, this is holy hallowed ground. It, it, it's for men only. You, I, I'm just trying to help. I'm, I'm sorry, I digressed a little bit. We believe in the power of Jesus' authority and we rest in it. We do not seek any other power. We defy every other power. Just giving this to you. We know our powerlessness will not hinder the progress of his kingdom. So you need his power. We give all power and authority to him. And in, in other words, when we give it to him, we honor it. We're not really giving it to him, but we honor it. We, we submit to it. And that's the next problem that people have in submitting to something. But you will either submit to one power or bow to another. Jesus said, go. And he said, go to some very imperfect disciples. But he doesn't take his command back to go because you have shortcomings. He still has a job to do. And I hope you're paying attention to me. Your goal is based on, on his sending, his authority. So it ain't based on your shortcoming. Because he can fix your shortcoming and make you better, but he still intends for you to go. Did you hear me? First of all, look at the band he told go to. To Peter, headstrong, denial. To John, who sometimes wishes that fire would come down and destroy men. Amen. To Philip, whom the Savior has been with him, and, and he still didn't know some things. You mean, I've been with you all this time, and you don't know these things? Woo. And then to Thomas, who has to put his finger in before he'll believe. In the womb. But he still told him, go. All power is given unto me. Go therefore. You are as good for my purpose as anybody else would be. And I'm saying to you, you are as good for his purpose as anybody else would be. If he's told you to go, what he's told you to do, do that. Some of you don't seek him out because you don't want to go do nothing. But he wouldn't send you here and not send you to do something. He wouldn't save you if he didn't save you to do something. You don't need saving to do absolutely nothing. He didn't save you just to jump over life and go to heaven. When you get to heaven, it'll be more dear to you because of the go before heaven. And then he said, Make disciples of all nations. How many nations? All. To command to make disciples was not merely converts or supporters. Some people join church, but they never become a convert. They visit church, but they've never been converted. What am I saying? He said, make disciples, not church members. On, 
That's my church, but you don't support it. That's my church, but you visit it every now and then. <laughs> he didn't say make church members. He said make the Duplicate who you are. And the disciples were were just that. They were disciples. They were learners. They, were, they had to be trained. You have to be trained to become a Christian. And the reason why many people cannot get it is because they haven't been trained to be a Christian. So they keep doing the same stuff the same old way. And I hope you're paying attention to me. You aren't Christian because you, you adopted the name. You are Christians because you are a disciple. You are a learner. That's why facing the old with something new, you become a disciple. And another reason why Jesus wasn't really ready to let go of them guys because of what he had put inside of them. They didn't know to what degree he had put stuff inside of them. It wouldn't be tested until after he was gone. Yeah. How you know you got the lesson or didn't get the lesson is that when the teacher is gone, you, you, you had an experience that has to show you, did you learn the lesson? And when people don't run, learn the lesson, they keep bumping their head yes. and saying, God help me. And God is saying, learn the lesson. Yes. Are you out there? Yes. So you don't come to church to be entertained. You don't come to church because your family, because you, your, 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 your significant other. Because I'm learning about significant other. They fall out with you and then they, they other way. They, they, they somewhere else. Because you were the focus and not God. Yeah. But when you become a disciple, that means you sit down and you're ready to learn. I'm missing it. I'm ready to learn. Oh, I didn't know that. I understand that. I got that. Oh, wow. That's what that means. Because there's going to be a day when what you learn, you're going to have to put into practice. That's what happened to the disciples. That's why Jesus wasn't willing to let go of them. Because he had put something in them for three years, even though Philip kept saying, I don't understand. He said, you will in a minute. How many of you know if you don't learn the first lesson from the first teacher, the next teacher is harder? Some people say, well, I can repeat the grade again. It's harder the second time around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So you're constantly learning. He said, make learners. Make students so that they can do a job as a Christian. But not just a Christian, but as an active go-getter. You can't go unless you're ready to go. And, and for, for what's out there, you got to be ready. Because what's out there is ready for you. Oh, you ain't ready for it, but it's ready for you. As soon as it snatch you up, you know it's ready for you. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? We keep, under, we keep underestimating the, pro, the, the proficiency of Satan. You ain't too cute. He'll keep working on you till you ugly. Take your youth from you and you look just as haggard. Till people have to ask, who are you? 
I'm in the house today. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? So we have to be ready and on guard. And everybody loses their guard sometime or another. But get back up there and get, get moving. Get moving. Because he didn't take his goal back. Of all nations. All nations. There's a place on earth where the gospel of Jesus needs to be. And you're a part of it. You're interconnected to the kingdom of God plan. Let me move on. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I don't know why so many people got missed this. But these same disciples he gave this, this, this word to. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. And, but when we see them over in Acts, they're only using one name. Come on. They, 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 they use one name. And reference one name. Oh, oh, you don't believe me. Let's, let's, let's run it down. Well, let me say this before I do that. In the name literally means into the name. That means as if I would take this napkin and this is the, being baptized. Here is the name Jesus. This is it. We literally, when we are baptized into Jesus, we in within his name, we are literally dropped inside of his name. That ain't a, 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 a plaything. That's why when they sung saturate us, I got crazy. Because God don't want you just just sprinkled. He don't want you damp. See, we got too many damp Christians. You just barely wet. He wants you saturated in the name. Till, till when this comes out, only thing you can ring out is Jesus. Looking at me. Looking at me. Saturate me. Why do I need to be saturated? Because what comes in me starts replacing what needs to go out of me. Saturate me into the name, implying interest into an allegiance. So when you go into the name, you have entered an allegiance. I'm tied to Jesus. Some of you need to be right. You act like I can remember all of this and stuff, and you don't. Because it needs to be active in your life. So let's look into Acts right quick. Let's look into Acts. Acts, Acts 2.38. Where they use this name. Then Peter said to them, repent. That's a good word too. People don't want to repent. But you won't get better unless you repent. Okay, that's the process. Then Peter said to them, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of who? Jesus Christ. For the what? Remission, of sin. Remission means pulling back out of the way. Yes. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. So he's saying that if, as the Holy Ghost is about to come on you, but you need to get this clear first. Yes. Come on. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, this is the same disciples that got Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go somewhere else. You're not convinced. Acts 4 and 12. Acts 4 and 12. Then he goes on to say that, 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 that. that. You want a lot of other names, but nor is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name. Given by which no, no other name, it didn't say names. It's a name. Oh, are, are y'all getting this today? What is the name? Singular. But when you're saying it, you're saying God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Ghost. But the name in the earth that's released in the earth for us is Jesus. Yes. 
Are y'all there? You still don't believe. Go to Acts 8 and 12. Acts 8 and 12. But when they believed Philip, as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, both men and women were, as they believed what was preached. See, at some point, you have to decide, do I believe what's being preached? Amen. Amen. Because one day what's being preached, you're going to be held accountable for. Now, you can be distracted all day in church. But at some point in your life, you need to get serious about your walk with the Lord. And give reverence to something that is godly. Do, do you hear me? And until you're willing to do that, then you're relegating God to second place to the things that have your affection and your attention. Whatever you are the most attentive to is your God. But you want God to be your ER, your 911 call. Maybe if you just hear the word. Whew. Oh, that, that made things cool down, didn't it? 816. For as yet, see here, they, 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 this that same Philip passed, they had you know, preached and everything. And, and he said, he said, and yet the Holy Spirit, this the crow that said, we haven't so much as heard of the Holy Spirit. For as yet, he had fallen on, on, on none of them. They had only been baptized in what? So they were baptized, but they weren't spirit filled yet. Some churches teach you get all of it at one time, you get the Holy Ghost, you get Jesus, and they just as confused about it as they can be. See, because this charge of Great Commission is a charge to do the work, but it's not the power to do it yet. And we're headed toward Pentecost where the power and the charge comes together. So some of you in this room that are not spirit-filled, you need to relegate yourself to, I'm going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come down away from all the stuff and the isms. I can't get it. You, you will get it in these next two weeks. I want you to think about it over and over again. I do not speak with tongues, and I will. Amen. You need to get serious about your walk. You can't keep just, just humping along. You got to get serious about your walk with the Lord. It's not the caucus club. It's the learning station. And the Bible says, and when the student is fully taught, they shall be as their master. Whew. Are y'all there? Yeah. And then he said, I don't want you to do any strange teaching. This is all in that Matthew 28. He said, teaching them, teaching them like I taught you to observe all things that I commanded you. Yeah. And he said, and when you do that, I'm going to be with you there. Yeah. In what? What I taught you. Yeah. And so what you teach others they can reach back and teach somebody else and reach back and teach somebody else. So the kingdom is advanced because you're developing learners. Learners. You're developing learners. Developing learners. And that's what this is all about, developing learners and disciples. Because you, a, a disciple is a learner. He said, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. 
Jesus sent his disciples with one mission to fulfill. He did not send them alone. He said, I'm with you. His promise, his constant presence. And that's why I love worship because every one of these themes they hit, they talked about presence today. They talked about something, everything. Saturate us. I said, godly, just walk on through the whole message. But that's the Lord. Because every part of this environment has to teach. Are you there? You have to be a learner. And, 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 and it says, not just anything. The, the word presence means always. His presence. He said, his presence will be with you always. Not just a horizon that's in view, but every day, all day, in and out the day, his presence will be with you. Because he said, lo, I am, oh, God, you have his presence. And so his presence means privilege. Ooh, his presence means privilege. Because we work with a great king. His presence means protection. Because we are never out of his sight and supervision. It's like you never get away from the general of your soul. He's with you. Protection. And some of you this week, you've gone through some hell with some situations. I like uh, 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 Golden State a lot. I know there might be some Bucks fan and some, you know, Portland people. But they all are on vacation. But you, the, but the, but the, but the point is, is that it's a funny thing. You have to watch stuff play out, and everybody can't stand Steph Curry. I listen to all the pundits, all the lift. Look, oh, every time they make a prediction, it show up just the opposite. But, but, but God, Pastor Marcy was talking about it, and we talked about how, how, you know the reason why he, he persecuted? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because he don't mind naming the name Jesus. I got a pair of his, his gym shoes, and on the side of it it said, I can do it through Christ. He don't, see, he don't finish the whole verse. He said, I can do all things. Well, those of us that got the rest of it, we... But here's the part that gives him power in his feet and his aim. Who strengthens me. So you keep persecuting. They don't know whether he's the best or the worst. But I'm saying to you all, you get that same persecution on them jobs for being right. You don't do nothing. It look like hell just show up on the now, some of y'all make, but, but for the most, <laughs> but for the most part, it's undue persecution. Anybody in that ball game right now, you can, you can just say. They don't want to advance you. They don't want to, they, they, they act like they, you know, they send you through. And it, it's persecution. Are you there? But that's all right. I, 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 just, I think I just gave you the secret. I can do all things. Who does what? So, so, so strengthen yourself up. Come on, somebody. Strengthen yourself up with the one on the inside that you saturated with. Squeeze some Jesus out on it. Squeeze it out. I will put this in, but I don't want to gross you out. That would look a little nasty. But just, 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 just get saturated enough. See, the reason why you ain't got nothing to squeeze out because you ain't, you ain't soaked in nothing. See, some of y'all want to, want something, to, but ain't nothing coming out because nothing has never gone in because you distracted while the word is going on. 
<laughs> and you want something to come in and go out, but you ain't paying attention. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to help you because unless you become a learner, you can't extract kingdom benefits. I, I, are you out there today? So, so, so here's, here's one more. His presence means peace. Because he always reminds the church that you belong to me. And that's when he, he wrote years ago, earlier before he appeared, I will keep him in whose is stay. What is it? That means whose mind dwells in my presence. My God, God. In his presence is fullness. And at his, our pleasures forevermore. Presence. He told you go, but he promised to be present with you. To help you do what you need to do. Present with you. Because you're with me. Come on, come on. Don't you act like you're forsaken. Don't you act like you're without help. Because his presence is here for you today. Do you understand me? Stop acting like you're without strength. Because you're covered today. You good normally. You learners. I, I did all this to learn, teach you something. First of all, that you got to go on you. And it's not a suggestion. It's a commandment. Where are you going, therefore? Where is therefore? Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the world. Go, go, go. <laughs> go. Who told you to sit down and not do anything? Who told you to expect God to be your wishbone? <laughs> Who told you to expect that every time you need something, he should show up? When you don't understand how to subject yourself to the commandment. Maybe while you're going, the need would get met. Maybe while you're doing what he told you to do, that's when the Bible says, and these blessings shall overtake you. Yes. Yes. Maybe they overtaken you because you're in route with your going self to do something. Maybe it's not happening because you're still distracted and you can't give him the time of day. But I'm looking at your foreheads. And I see a go on it. I don't see an excuse. I see a command. Where am I going? He already told you. Don't come ask me. Pastor, where am I going? Therefore, point somewhere. Get your hand a point. There. There. And I'm not pointing to hell. Go ye therefore and teach. Make learners. And he said, Lo, when you do that, you won't have to invite me in. You won't have to ask, Lord, where are you? He said, he's promised. <laughs> My presence will be with you. And it's good enough for here and there. Blessings to you today. My God from Zion. My God. My God. You've been charged. Father, we thank you. Yeah. And we bless you. Thank you.
Thank you, Father. 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 For your goodness and your mercy. And your love. Help us to consider to walk in the things that you want us to walk in. Fill us up for the Holy Spirit. They had only been baptized, but they weren't filled. Seek to be filled. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lift up hands and worship him just a little bit. Your presence is heaven. Come on, come on. Your presence is heaven. verse up there. Amen, amen. Everybody, everybody. Your presence is heaven. Your presence is heaven. Hallelujah. Is heaven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Blessing to you. What is it? 